Hi everyone, this is Elric and we're going to talk a lot and here is our first topic for today's video. So what is Fibonacci sequence? So this is a set of integers that starts with a zero, followed by one, then by another one, and then a series of steadily increasing numbers. The sequence follows the rule that each number is equal to the sum of preceding two numbers. So that should be 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and 55. That is the example of Fibonacci sequence. The next number is found by adding up the numbers before it. Now, who's the man behind it? That is Leonardo Pisano Vigano, who later became known as his nickname Fibonacci. He later introduced this pattern on his book titled as Sniper Abaxi in the year 1202. Also, Fibonacci sequence can also be expressed with formula and that is Fn equals Fn negative 1 plus Fn negative 2. Hi guys, I'm Najana Guevara and now I will discuss about a Fibonacci spiral. The Fibonacci spiral is uh, derived from the Fibonacci sequence where each the number is the sum of the two preceding ones when this number are used to create a series from squares and curves are drawn to connect their corners it forms a spiral this spiral is often found in the nature and art often showcasing the mat mathematical beauty of the Fibonacci sequence. Good morning everyone, I am Penala Merz Pineda and welcome to my vlog. Today, we're on a training journey exploring the wonders of numbers and patterns in our modern world. Nature is a treasure trove of mathematical wonders, whether it's the spire of a seashell or a petals of a flower. Patterns governed by the mathematical principle are all around us. These patterns, like Fibonacci sequence, unveil the intricate beauty of our natural surroundings. So now, let's move on to the power of numbers. Numbers not only create patterns, but also empower us to make informed decisions. From analyzing stock market trends to understanding weather forecasts, data, statistics shape of our daily lives, showing us that math isn't just a subject, it's a guiding force. And there you have it. In just a minute, mathematics isn't confined to textbook. It's alive in the pattern of nature, the technology we use, and the decision we make. If you found a whirlwind tour of math intriguing, hit that button, subscribe for more, and share your favorite mathematical patterns. I hope you enjoy and learn a lot in this vlog. Hi everyone, I'm Chaisan, and I'm going to talk all about the golden ratio. The golden ratio, also known as the golden number, golden proportion or the divine proportion is ratio between two numbers that equals approximately 1.618 usually written as the Greek letter P. It is strongly, strongly associated with the Fibonacci sequence a series of numbers wherein each number is added to the last. The Fibonacci numbers are 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and so on, with the ratio of each number and the previous number gradually approaching 1.618 or P. History of the Golden Ratio The first known mention of the Golden Ratio is from around 300 BCE in Euclid's Elements, the classical Greek work on mathematics and geometry. I have found another example of Fibonacci sequence and I counted it a while ago and it has 13 globes and 13 is a Fibonacci sequence. Here is my example, a sunflower, and let's find if it's an example of Fibonacci number. Let's count how many that has this sunflower has. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It has 13 petals and 13 is a Fibonacci number.